MLA's Masterpieces campaign has been building the profile of non loin cuts across the wholesale, retail and food service sectors for well over a year now. The latest initiative is Masterpieces Street Food. Feedback TV went along to the launch of the, the new street food recipe book and found out a bit more about this bite-sized phenomenon. What exactly is street food? Well, according to those who are fans of this new food format, it's portable, it's fresh, it doesn't hurt your hip pocket, and most importantly, it tastes great. We asked a few people who know a bit about street food what they thought about it. Street food could be anything from burgers to pies to, you know, gyozas, takeaways. I think the trend now is like those Taiwanese dumplings, things like that. So food on the go, quick and easy, convenience, yeah. Street food's quick, easy, flavoursome, nice to eat, enjoyable, give you just the right uh, bite. People nowadays, even like even pub food, people are looking for things that are much more interesting. Things that are funky, things that are a little bit different, you know, I suppose, an inner city feel. Street food comes in all shapes and sizes and leaves behind the formalities of restaurant dining. It's a perfect addition to the Masterpieces campaign and Claire Tyndall was part of the MLA team who bought the street food recipe book together. Street foods are fabulous tasting, handheld foods that are developed in a neighbourhood or a community of the country that it's born in. So you think about empanadas in Spain, think about the pie floater in Australia. So it's cheap food, street food, handheld and fabulous tasting. Yeah, I've tasted the um, Turkish burger. That was not, that was quite good. It tasted quite nice. So something I saw in Tokyo last week as well, and they had a shrimp burger in the same burger concept. So obviously the trend is taking place across across the globe, really. The eclectic nature of street food is born out of its varying cultural origins. Signature dishes from across the globe migrate with chefs as they travel around the world plying their trade. Kitchens now, and especially in hotels, are a potpourri of nationalities um, from all around the world. And I encourage that because I think one of the best things to have is authenticity in some of these dishes. And, well, the street food lends itself to that as well. Gary Johnson from the Sydney Hilton Hotel attended the launch and was one of a number of contributors to MLA's street food recipe book. My involvement in the street food book, I suppose, and the recipe that I developed was more or less at the Hilton Cairns. Um, I developed it with my team up there. We had a great barbecue and some charcoal and an American chef at the time who taught us the secret to making a great fajita. So we used a beef flank, um, we marinated it for 24 hours in a little North Queensland pawpaw of all things and uh, grilled it very quickly, chopped it up and it's a, it turns out really great and it's a great cost too. Tracy Archer's favourite is this grilled lamb rump with Middle Eastern lentils. In the cafe or a pub and you just, you know, you're after a burger or a sandwich and you, you just get tired of the same thing. Using a lamb rump, you know, you've got such a great flavour in there. It's tender, juicy. Mix that with some Middle Eastern flavours, you know, you've got Rasul Hunu, uh, Harissa. Very simple, really easy for food service to produce. Uh, it's just pan fry or char grilled and you've got a, a simple sandwich which is just transformed into something a bit more special. For me personally, uh, I've been a chef over 20 years and uh, I would have loved to have these resources many years ago. It would have really helped with my menu development. One of the strategies behind the Masterpieces program is to constantly be providing chefs with inspiration on how they can use non-loin cuts of beef and lamb. And we are well aware that one of the big trends in the world at the moment is about street food. So we thought what a perfect way to bring our product in and incorporate it into this world food trend. And it's fun, it's creative and cost effective for a chef. The Masterpiece and Street Food Connection with the Sydney Hilton Hotel has been one of the success stories of the program. Gary Johnson attended some of the early lamb and beef master classes and was so inspired by some of the cuts that he immediately put them on his menu. It's worked very well for the Hilton because we've got a great team of chefs in there and I've got a really international team as well. So a lot of the dishes that they make, even going back to their own origins, um, were done with braising, uh, long, slow cooking techniques. So the secondary cuts uh, lend themselves extremely well to all those spices and international flavours. Last month, for a fact, we served 67,000 meals at the Hilton, so that's uh, a little more than Mr and Mrs Jones or a dinner party on a Saturday night. We did 32,000 kilos of beef, we did 18,000 kilos of lamb in the last year, so as you can see, beef and lamb is very popular, it'll never go out of fashion. Masterpieces in general and the Streets Food Initiative has been a fantastic project. I think it's really not only given chefs uh, another platform, 
to demonstrate their recipes, to share their skills, but I, I believe that we have an obligation, not only amongst each other, but to the next generation, to share those techniques, develop those skills, and of course come together on a, on a great basis in this book. One of the objectives of Masterpieces was to grow demand for some of these lesser used cuts, and obviously as demand grows, the price eventually gets pushed up. So that's our objective, and it's early days, but we're already seeing people using more of these cups. You can order a copy of the street food booklet from the MLA website at www.mla.com.au backslash publications.